Oh my god. Wait a minute. Can you see the magic? Can you? Yes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What's up you guys and welcome back to Summer Stop. Ooh, that one scared myself. And if you're new here, stick around for a while because you know what? We have some fun on this channel, okay? Today is a magical day. We are going to be embarking on a magical, mystical, wondrous fairy tale of an adventure. So today we are combining two very magical things. Disney and weddings. I could cry. We normally on this channel do a lot of bridesmaids videos, but today is all about being a bride, which I'm very excited about. Today we are going to be trying on the Allure Bridal Disney Fairy Tale Wedding Collection, and I'm so excited. Even though I know nothing about weddings, thanks to a certain someone. <laughs> All right, so we are going to try on each individual dress and then we have to guess which Disney princess it belongs to. So make sure to play along with us in the comments, you guys, because we know that you love Disney as much as we do. So this is gonna be really fun. I don't really know how I feel about this. I just, I don't have a good grasp on dresses, but I do love Disney and I feel like I know my princesses well enough. I know my Disney princesses, you know what I mean? And I feel like if, if the designer and I, if Allure and I are here, I would be able to pick up on what they are trying to say. If there's one thing I remember from trying on wedding dresses like six years ago is that you definitely can't put on wedding dresses by yourself. You need an assistant. So, uh, Nick, yeah. you, you gonna help me put on these wedding dresses? Looks like I'm on my own, y'all. <laughs> No need to work out today because putting on these dresses is a workout in itself. I am a little sweaty, a little hot. This dress is absolutely beautiful. I love the details so much. I feel like I'm not a ball gown type person just because I am only like 5'3 three and 3 quarters. So basically 5'4 even though my resume says I'm 5'5. It has such a great detail right here. I think they call this the sweetheart neckline. I could be mistaken. But it has all of these really beautiful bejewels right here in the chest area and of course a built-in bra. It's just nice, form-fitting, and beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say this is either Ariel inspired or Pocahontas. Let me tell you why. I don't know why. I just, that's what comes to mind. <laughs> So I feel like in terms of Disney princesses, you know which ones would be wearing ball gowns. And those are like Cinderella, Belle, Aurora, Tiana probably. Except for that green situation she has going on. Who could this be? I was feeling Elsa just because this is so icy, but now the more I look at it, I'm getting Jasmine vibes because this is totally what Jasmine's top look like. You guys remember her green top and then like the, the pants or whatever? This is giving me absolute Jasmine vibes. Let's go with Jasmine. Ooh, I'm gonna go with Ariel. I know that is a long shot. I'm gonna be real sad if it's wrong, but let's see what happens. I guess I would have to go with Princess J, my girl Jasmine, who I adore so much. I just feel like she would totally rock an Arabian beauty like this. Okay, it looks like I was right. This one is Jasmine, and it, it really is inspired by the top, because you guys remember her green top is exactly like this, so. It makes sense that this was inspired by Jasmine. Jasmine, God, why make the course? It's so annoying that once you see the answer, you're like, oh, duh, that makes sense. Princess Jasmine, oh, that's great. Uh, but yeah, no, this dress is absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I think it's just gorgeous. And uh, yeah, safe to say that I am obsessed. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys, this wedding dress is stunning. Okay, you guys, I am now in dress number two, and I must say, whoever marries me is very lucky because I'm going to be a super hot, right? This dress is sexy. It is 
so comfortable. It's even more comfortable than the Princess Jasmine dress because it's not, it's like all lace, all over lace, and it's like the most breathable thing ever. I feel like you could get like real down and dirty on your wedding day and not be sweaty at all. There's only one way to test it though. Yeah, no, it's good. It's very form-fitting. I love the lace detail that goes around the bra cup to the straps. The back is just a plain back, and then it's corset, so you have the corset right here and in the back, so it just snatches your waist. I'm stumped now, because if the first one was Jasmine, I would think that this one was Jasmine just because I feel like so far it's the sexiest, but Jasmine is out, so who could this be? Maybe this one is Ariel, because it's bohemian beach vibes. But yeah, this is considered mermaid style because it's fitted and it flares out a little bit, even though it's not like poof. It's either Ariel or Pocahontas, which I can totally see Pocahontas wearing something like this too. Okay, let's just go with Pocahontas, all right? Let's just do that and just call it a day. I, I, guys, I'm gonna be so bad at this, but I'm gonna go with The Little Mermaid just because it is a mermaid-shaped dress. Now I'm confused because now I don't think that we're basing this off of their actual wedding dresses in their movies. I think they're just based off of just them as princesses. I think it's Ariel, I think. Focus. Oh my god, it was Pocahontas! Okay, so that, that makes me feel really good about my Disney princesses. Oh, it's probably gonna go all downhill from here. Are you kidding me? This is Pocahontas? Oh, I feel like I should have known that because from her little two-piece outfit, it's form-fitting and it's simple yet elegant, so that makes sense that this is Pocahontas because I also am obsessed with Pocahontas, so it makes sense that why I'm so obsessed with this dress. felt like a Disney princess, it is right now. And we're only halfway through. There's just something about putting on a wedding dress that just makes you feel special, you know? First of all, check out the back of this. It's got a bunch of buttons going all the way down, little claspy buttons, and then lace corset situation happening. And then that continues for the rest of it. And then it falls into this gorgeous, gorgeous train. This is like serious Disney princess level vibes. I love the detail. There's so many beautiful flower beaded details on the top and then the bottom is just literally just silk material that goes down into a ball gown dress. You can definitely dance in this one too. Can you even tell I'm twerking? Kinda. <laughs> But what princess do I think this was inspired by? Off the bat, my mind immediately goes to either Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. It's someone that's going to a ball. So I would say either Cinderella or who else went to the ball? Belle went to a ball. I think that's it. Um, so it's either Cinderella or Belle. I'm gonna go with Sleeping Beauty. There's something about it that's just a little bit ethereal. Yeah, it's giving me Sleeping Beauty vibes. So I think I'm gonna say that this dress belongs to Bell, fingers crossed. I'm gonna say this is Sleeping Beauty's final answer. Let's see what it says. Bell, I forgot about Bell. This is Bell. Oh man, I didn't get it right. I think the bottom of it, the back of it, confuses me because she wears that ginormous yellow poofy gown, and it's like a full-on ball gown. But yeah, definitely Belle vibes up here. Regardless, it's gorgeous. This dress was inspired by Belle, and I truly believe it's because. If I can remember in my head, uh, this is what Belle's top looked like. This dress I really love. It makes me feel like a princess, which makes sense because Belle is the perfect princess. I need you guys to play Here Comes the Bride for a second, okay? Here comes the bride. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I know I said a million times in other dresses that I want to renew my vows in those dresses. Nick, let's renew our vows because I freaking love. Wait a minute. But I'm pretty sure I'm 
want to renew my vows in this dress. Every time I don't think it can get any more princessy, I am amazed. It's definitely the sparkliest one that I've tried on so far. And it's also got like this little glimmer of green throughout it. It's like a little bit of like a teal situation going on, which I actually don't hate. First of all, I feel the most beautiful I've ever felt in my entire life. It is, it is just princess on top of princess. The train is so long. Can you see it? Can you see the magic? Can you? This is who I was made to be, you know? There's only one way to know if this dress is legit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna go with, I'm just gonna say Tiana because I, I want one of these dresses to be inspired by Tiana. So let's see if I'm right. But I think the green, it has to be like, it has to be Tiana, right? Like Tiana has green in it. To me, it's a no-brainer. This has to be Cinderella because if it's not, I don't know what dress in there could be. It, it's just, it, I just, I feel like the most, like a princess in this dress. It's so sparkly, it's so poofed out. So Cinderella, we're locking it in, has to be Cinderella. Let's see. to be like my dream wedding dress ends up being Tiana's dress and this dress is inspired by Tiana I just threw that one out there again because I just wanted one of these to be inspired by Tiana yeah there had to have been a, it was a giveaway because of the green in the, in the gown <laughs> this is the dress inspired by her and it's my favorite one it's like, oh ooh, episode over episode over I hang it up I'm going home. you know oh my god <laughs> You guys, I'm serious. I might cry multiple times in this episode. These dresses are so pretty. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting when we started this, but I wasn't expecting to be blown away like this. All right, you guys. I think I would be obsessed with this dress, but it doesn't fit me. It doesn't go past my hips. So this is the best I can do. I'm sure it looks great on all the other girls. All right, this was the mermaid gown I knew was coming. This is a gown. <laughs> This is unbelievable. I can't even, I've definitely never, I've never worn anything like this in my entire life ever. I can honestly say that. I think it is so glamorous. It is so over the top, but I absolutely love it. I think it's really, really, really unique. And now I'm conflicted because I loved the Tiana one and now I love this one. It's a two-way tie. Beautiful dress, but unfortunately on me, it just does not go past my hips. So here we are. This has to be Ariel. Like there's no way it's not Ariel. You know what I mean? Like if it's anybody else, I'm gonna be upset, but I won't be because I just feel so pretty and cute. So if I had to guess which Disney princess inspired this dress, I'm thinking someone with really long hair, like Pocahontas or Rapunzel. This 1000%, we all know who this is. This is a mermaid gown if I've ever seen one. Definitely get to work. Twerking is not happening. Pocahontas hair is straight, and so it has to be between Moana and Rapunzel because their hair is like curly, wavy, flowy. So my final guess is that this dress was inspired by Moana. Dang, this one was Ariel, which makes so much sense because it's just the body and then this big poof is supposed to be her tail. So dang, I was so wrong on that one. But I mean, I feel like my guess was good. Just wish that it would fit because it's so beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about. Ain't turning back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. What's the next words? All right, let's be real. This is the most Disney princess gown in the entire world. Don't at me. Clearly, clearly, this is 
inspired by Princess Elsa or Queen Elsa. I think she's a queen. Regardless, this dress is stunning. Look at that. Like, holy crap. That is beautiful. The embellishments are unfreaking believable. And if you know how I feel about sleeves, I love that this has sleeves. I love it so much. It is encrusted, it is crystal. And then this big poofy bottom that you see here has glitter all around it. It is so stunning. I feel like, again, I would have never tried this on in a wedding shop, but whoever is wearing this on their wedding day is an actual princess or queen. I think this hand down has to be Cinderella because I just, I feel like you could easily be running downstairs, your glass slipper falls off, and you don't even notice because you have so much dress around you, you know? It makes sense. Uh, this is definitely Cinderella's ball gown. This might be better than Cinderella's ball gown. I said it, but can I twerk? in this gown. Oh yeah, this is good. Um, this dress is everything, and I'm pretty sure it's Elsa. Cinderella! I love it! I'm gonna be like Cinderella, sitting in the corner. I forgot the words, but you know, cheetah girl. Wow, oh, this is so princessy. Wow, this is great. Yeah, this is definite like dancing dress for sure. This dress is Cinderella. I'm just gonna take a second to really just get my mind wrapped around. I just sang the whole song, Let It Go. Let it go. What's the next words? You're asking da, me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is Cinderella's dress. This is not, this is not Cinderella. Cinderella had a blue poofy sleeve dress. I don't know. I, I still, I'm not even going to accept that this is Cinderella. I'm just gonna say that this is inspired by Elsa. I got it wrong, but like, come on. Let me know in the comments below. Is this really Cinderella or is this really Elsa? <sighs> okay, you guys, I just had to throw on the Princess Tiana dress again because it's my favorite. Marry me, husband, whoever you are. This is it, come get me. Come get me. So I think this is probably my favorite dress, but not necessarily the dress I would wear on my wedding day. It's just fun to dream, huh? It's fun to feel like a bride, because some of us may... You don't even know what I was gonna say. I know what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this one is my absolute favorite, Tiana and the Pocahontas one. You guys, how many did you guys get right? Which one was your favorite? Quick round of feelings and come on back because there is way more style and Disney and, and sparkle and princess where this came from. Get out, get out of that dress. No! Okay, you, you wanna stay in it? You can't it weighs, make me. It weighs 60 pounds. 